Hello YouTube, this is Keith Kevin Ken. How you doing? How you doing? I hope you're doing well. You know, I get a lot of people loving the opening. I've gotten some people go, I just can't stand your opening. Man, life is way too short to worry about that. I like saying how you doing. It's exaggerated, but if you saw me in life, <laughs> and I just went, hey, pat you on the back, and we're about ready to have drinks. I go, how you doing? That's me. I do exaggerate it, but man, people love it or hate it. Here's the thing when you're doing YouTube, except especially for me because it's a nice hobby. I love it. I'm going to keep doing it. Sorry. Anyway, <laughs> it's the first seconds of the thing. I just had to mention that because that's always something. Um Let's talk about this. Uh, oh, see, I stopped the opening. I stopped my run on the opening. Of course, today is the knife of the day. This is where we go through my collection one knife at a time, one day at a time. I, this is the third of the three knife set that I received. And uh, once again, kudos to my godfather knife club. <laughs> um because they have i just blanked out omaha knives omaha knives because when you're a collector it goes through an established place and i don't know them personally but man they make sure i get my knives as soon as possible so um omaha knives check them out this isn't sponsored but when you do tell them keith kevin ken kevin from keith kevin ken said hello um man this sometimes when you get knives from Spyderco. You like some of them, you don't. The variations you kind of like. This has been out of the park great. The package has been three knives. Each of the three have been exclusive from distributors. Two days ago I did the Blade HQ Para 3. Of course, you know, they've been doing that, but this one has HAP 40. This one has um, the Black Blade and the natural G10 with black hardware. Yesterday, I did a wonderful pair of three as well. Go check them out. Those are the two new ones. This one shocked me. I opened it out. I pulled out the Endura. Of course, this is a Spyderco Endura 4 with FRN scales. And I knew it was a Zome. Zome, sorry, a Zome uh, design on that. And we'll talk about that Zome. I, I've already nicknamed it the pumpkin zome, right? Perfect. <laughs> with the orange, with the black. We'll talk about that process a little when we get to the handle. So I said, okay, it's going to be, you know, VG10 steel. And I was shocked when it was HAP40 SUS410 steel. Is that amazing? I love that steel. A lot of knives coming out of Spyderco. This, by the way, is exclusive to Cutlery Shop. Exclusive to Cutlery Shop. They love their orange, don't they? I love what they do with orange. So a Spyderco Endura 4, exclusive from the, cult uh, the Cutlery Shop, just a great distributor, um, with orange and black Zome and Hap. 40 SUS 410 steel. I love that because you know the Sprint run when Spyderco really introduced their versions of HAP 40 uh, steel sandwiched in between SUS 410. Um, and they did a number of knives the Endora, the Delica, the Stretch, um, the Dragonfly, Ladybug, Man Bug. And now, to get this variation, I'm loving it. I really am. Isn't that funky? <laughs> In a good way. <laughs> of course, all Enduras from Spyderco. Three point, just over 3.7 inch blade. Full flat grind. A real nice slicer. Of course, you guys know, every time I do this, I remind you guys, half 40, you got to take care of it. It is not a stainless steel. It real rust on you. Which is why it's sandwiched between two slabs of SUS 410 to keep it from rusting. 
it's very strong steel but that also adds a little bit to its strength as well 3.7 inches 3.4 inch is the blade I mean the edge of the blade so over 3.7 inches total and when they talk about that they're talking about the top of the handle to the tip top of the point but the cutting edge is 3.4 inches 8.7 inches total as you guys probably know the Delica and the Endora is really uh, two of the more famous Spydecos been around a long time and uh, people well received people really like it you'll see this Delica later you can see the small knife the larger knife um, just really nice I love the treatment Zome is interesting. It's a Japanese uh, art form that they use on textiles, you know, whether it's clothing or, or, you know, sheets or whatever. And what it is, is they start out and especially on the fiberglass reinforced nylon, they transferred it to do this for Spydeco. And what they do is they dip it all in the light color. So in this case, it's orange, right? So they start with FRN scales and orange. And then listen to this. They hand dye the secondary color, in this case, black. They have these brushes and they individually hand <laughs> dye these splotches. So every time you see a Zome from Spydeco, at least, I don't know if it's elsewhere. These are one of a kind. The pattern isn't the same. It can't be the same. Because these are artists doing each one. It's just a real nice, funky thing. When I first saw them talk about this at Blade HQ last year, I was like, eh, whatever. But some of them really pop. And I like Cutlery Shop. They got their act together. I don't know people from Cutlery Shop. All I know is when I get great Spydecos from Cutlery Shop, they're always special and different. The knife of the day, it's the Spydeco Endura 4. It's exclusive from the Cutlery Shop. Hap 40 steel. Hap 40 steel with FRN scales, but they're the Zome um, scales where you get that great color. Like I said, that sprint run of knives really kicked off for Spydeco. I know they had a couple of half 40s before that, but this really, after they did this, they had done a half 40 steel on other knives, but when they released this family of burnt orange sprint runs, they have been going crazy with the half 40. And I love the half 40 treatment on these distributor exclusives i really do it's just really creative of course that's the delica i wanted to give you a look at that that's a pink and blue zome on that one there you have it that's the knife of the day go check them out i've been doing knives of the day for over a year some people ask me this is the chatter part if you guys don't like me to talk we show the knife <laughs> okay but I, I do want to talk every now and then. That's one reason I, I just like you guys. I do. And it just makes me feel good before I go off and start the rat race. Um, you know, the knife of the day, it took a year to get through most of my collection. I still owe you guys all of the, you know, a lot of case knives and all of those. And we'll get to them at some point. Uh, we really will. And of course, every time there's a new Spydeco uh, for the collectors, I'm bringing those to you guys as soon as I can. And also we'll do Pocket Dump Deconstructions. And this weekend, I just decided today, it's Thursday, we will have another um, sale. Another knife sale where, we, <laughs> where I sell off part of my collection. It's called a trimming. It's a summer trimming. Um... So that's it. I hope you guys have a great day. By the way, a lot of people have sent questions and responses. Trust me, I read you guys' 
comments as soon, almost as soon as you send them, either on my phone, my watch, or whatever. So thank you very much. It just makes me feel so good. Uh, I am late on getting back to you guys. Uh, I will catch up, I promise. Um, I love the constructive criticisms as well as all the good wishes, so I really appreciate that. If I mess up something or you guys know more information, letting me know that I messed up, that's great. I, and I have no problems with that. I, I like that. But add it into the comments, not Kevin screwed up again because I'm going to screw up forever. <laughs> I've been straight up with you guys. I'm not an expert. I'm, I don't, you know, the steals, I like good steel as it cuts, but I'm not an expert. It kind of bores me sometimes. I'm being honest. But to help the community, taking a jab at me, which, you know, is whatever, but put it in the comments so others can see it, okay? Because um, I am not an expert in anything. But I'll tell you, there are 1,500 other YouTubers doing knives, and some of them just do steel. <laughs> okay? So use me as the guy that just fondles his knives because he likes knives. And then go. I, I, I'm over 100 people. I'm sorry I'm going long. But I told you, you could have cut out. I just needed to talk about some of those. So I do listen to you guys, and I'm reading all your comments. All right, uh, don't forget, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Turn on your notifications. Um, it's first come, first serve for the sales, so you need to be notified. And I never know when I start it. Usually it's Saturday evening because I, I have to pick the knives and do the research. Um, so a sale will be coming up. And tomorrow it's a pocket dump deconstruction. Hey, you guys, really appreciate you. Take good care of yourselves. Keep those pockets full. I know some people don't like when I say that, but sorry, but not sorry. <laughs> you guys have a perfect day. Goodbye.